Hello hackers or welcome to Hacker Associate. In this section, we are going to learn about Wi-Fi Pineapple capabilities. So most of the people ask me the question, Harsha sir, what are the capabilities of Wi-Fi Pineapple? What we can do with the Wi-Fi Pineapple? So I am going to record okay, like, you know, lot of videos on this particular topic, the capabilities of Wi-Fi Pineapple. So the first capability today we are going to discuss about 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequency so the device exactly uh, look like this you can see clearly this is the wi-fi pineapple uh, you will see the three antennas are there right one two and three so if you purchase wi-fi pineapple without any additional accessories then okay you will get this kind of device okay like these three antennas and no other additional accessory and this box will be there and you are directly ready to go okay for penetration test so first of all this wi-fi is basically automated framework for penetration testing there are many other devices available okay for assessment like alpha card and many other that will talk later this stage so just focus on this device we have three antennas so if you purchase this particular device okay from internet uh, you can directly use it first of all this one number one point number two is you will be able to assess 2.4 gigahertz frequency so what do you mean by 2.4 gigahertz and what do you mean by 5 gigahertz so when you talk about wireless penetration testing there are two important frequencies you need to focus on one is 2.4 second is 5 now what are these these are basically a, we can say radio frequency band generally used to transmit the data so there are two things here okay one is we have a wireless router okay uh, and then base station so when you talk about base station of okay, example let's say this phone this is the base station okay in my case so any devices which you are going to connect to the particular ap that is called access point name of the network that is basically we call, we call base station and to whom we are going to connect that is basically called what the access point okay the wi-fi network so you can clearly see that okay we have two things here one is base station it means the device and then access point which we are going to connect okay very straightforward now there are many things here okay in wi-fi uh, assessment like access point ssid essid beacon frame bssid channel number air click suites and many other right that practically you want to understand okay the link is in the description you can have a look into this the full-fledged working of wi-fi pineapple i already described there okay so here okay i'm going to focus on now specifically on iot hardware related stuff what are the capabilities so number one capability is uh, using this uh, device uh, you can penetrate 2.4 gigahertz uh, particular frequency band so whatever device is okay operating on 2.4 okay you will be able to penetrate directly using this particular device if you want to perform penetra penetration test specifically on 5 gigahertz then you need additional adapter that is called mark 7 tactical adapter required so that is basically link again in the description you can have a look into this and that cost around indem price around 17,000 after custom charges so that device okay you require in order to perform an assessment on iot devices and the good thing is most of the iot devices okay work on 2.4 gigahertz frequency band so that is we need to remember so the conclusion here is the number one capabilities i mentioned to you the two frequency you need to focus uh, you can penetrate 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz for 5 gigahertz you require ac adapter for this and if you need a better range use 2.4 gigahertz and if you need a good speed then use 5 gigahertz okay this is the first capabilities okay of wi-fi pineapple it means we can penetrate 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz frequency band very easily in an automated manner i hope you like the video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it and in future i'm going to record a lot of video accordingly and also i'm going to show you all the process manually as well as automated manner thank you have a great day see you in the next episode bye